She runs um, the Constitutional Coalition in Erie County, and she's here with us tonight. She does amazing, amazing work. She's got the podcast on Mondays as well. She is just a light. Um, real quick, I'm not going to take up a lot of time because you guys said it all, and I'm really happy to meet you. Fine. I'm Nancy Orticelli, run the Constitutional Coalition of New York State um, from Erie County. We actually started in 2013 because of the SAFE Act, and um, we've been fighting consistently ever since. We meet once a month, we educate, we do activism, um, and we try to create a coalition of different groups to do exactly what you guys are doing here. We want to support you, and we support Reason, everything that you guys do. We support Brenda and Ann. She spoke at our meeting, and Todd. And I just want to say, um, the things that you guys are talking about, you guys are so knowledgeable, and I am so grateful for people like you. Just looked at my husband and said, I really like these guys. They're awesome. <laughs> you guys are encouraging. What you're saying is amazing. What you said, why are we complying? Right. Why are we complying? And you're talking about the liquor license. That is literally the only thing that they have against people right now is the liquor license. In Erie County, there is a company and a, a business called the Financial Guys. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them. Yes. <clears throat> they are opening a bar in their business, and they're not getting a liquor license. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's, I can't remember what it's called, but they're almost done building it. They are doing it without the government. So they take your liquor license, take it. <laughs> I'm still going to buy liquor. Well, yeah, I'm not, but, <laughs> but they can. Let them take it. They're gonna fine you. The That's reason why the exactly. reason why Robbie De Niro won isn't because of just Todd. It's not because of the GoFundMe. It's because even without Todd and without the lawsuit, he was going to refuse to pay that fine. Yes. Right? yes. And then he was willing to put his life on the line, like him, and go to jail for that. But guess what? They don't have the guts to do that. You want to know why? because there was a bunch of us surrounding him. We were in the gym that night. My husband is the one that told the Department of Health Worker to go have compassion out in the parking lot. We were the ones that yelled, get out. They came, the Department of Health and the sheriff came to the business and we walked their butts right out to the parking lot. Absolutely, but it's also exhilarating and once you do that and you take that step and you break that door wide open You will get people to follow you like you said we are not the minority People will start following you which is exactly what happened in Robbie's gym that night. Robbie was not well known that night um, I actually knew his girlfriend because our church never shut down never put any mandates or regulations ever on anybody and we decided to open an underground homeschooling co-op without the approval of any government entity. And now we're not scared anymore. We're not hiding it. We meet twice a, a week. We teach these kids. We have 30 kids that we're helping. And his girlfriend was one of the teachers that was there helping us. And she invited us to his meeting that night for the small business meeting. And a bunch of us went, not knowing, oh, this is going to be boring, just another meeting. And it was anything but. But because he was willing to do that and take that first step, everybody felt he was not going to pay that fine. He ripped the fine up on Fox News before there was even a lawsuit. So it had nothing to do with the lawsuit. So absolutely, do not comply. And, and you, you made a really good point about the fact that in 2013, one of the most unconstitutional laws in New York State was passed, and it's the SAFE Act. Totally unconstitutional, but violated everything that the United States Constitution stands for, and nobody did anything. And you want to know why? Because we talk about electing Republicans and conservatives, but guess who had the majority at the time? The Republicans did, and they did nothing about it. So that's where we the people come into play. You have a politician, I don't care if they're Republican. If they're not doing the right thing, you follow their asses around and you harass them until they start doing the right thing. You show up to their fundraisers, you show up to their town hall meetings, and you can start making some noise. Um, Gay and Jenny back there, they, they're part of our group and part of Marie Rock's group. 
Um, we went to a bunch of fundraisers, right? We went to Hochul's fundraiser in Erie County. We had our megaphones, we had our noisemakers, we were screaming. And she's not going to have a good time raising money. That's just a long short of it. Um, our county executive, Mark Polakar, same thing. We went to his fundraiser. He's not going to enjoy his fundraiser after he has been a tyrant in our lives, Amen. after he has abused our children for two years. We will not allow him to get away from with it. Is it exhausting? Absolutely. Mm. The last couple weeks, I have been on burnout, and you noticed it because you messaged me. Are you okay, girl? <laughs> I'm okay, but I was in burnout. But that's why we need each other. That's Absolutely. why you need, like we what you said, we need to keep meeting. We need to keep doing this. We need to keep encouraging each other. And just don't comply. Don't wait for your politicians sure. to do it. Don't wait for your leaders of your activism groups to do it. Individually, do not comply. They find you great. If, if anybody here owns a business and you decide to take a stand and they come and they find you and they're ready to haul you off to jail, email me. I will show up with a group of people and we will not allow them to do that. That is what we are here for. Quiet, don't, you know, and, and as far as politicians are concerned, yes, they are important to, for the most part, to a certain extent. Um, I work for Assemblyman Di Pietro, and I support him 100% because he has always voted the way of the Constitution. He's always taken a stand, even if it's not effective because he's in the extreme minority right now. There is such a huge majority of Democrat socialists in New York State right now, and so what we need to do is start supporting candidates who will stand up for us, and how do you do that? You help them with their fundraisers. You do things like, it's really easy to find who votes in your area. You just go on your Board of Elections website, you should be able to get lists of who votes in your area, um, and offer people rides to the voting poll, you know, the voting stations. Uh, be a poll watcher. Um, do those things and get involved. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. And the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. I say this all the time, it is not one rally, it is not one meeting, it is not one protest, it's eternal vigilance. And if you're not up for it, then I guess America is not the place for you. Because that's how our founding fathers set it up, that we, the people, rule, not the politicians. So we need to get off our butts, and we need to get ready for the long haul, because you know, you can say, well, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Do you, did you think two years ago you would not be allowed to walk into a restaurant without getting injected with a chemical that's experimental? Did you ever yeah. think that that was going to happen? That you couldn't take your kids to a show at Shays Performing Arts or couldn't go to a Bills game? But now we're becoming complacent in our chains again. So now is the time for war. And, and, and we need people like Brenda, we need people like Ange, we need people like me and Reese because we complete each other. We can't all be the exact same person and have the exact same goal. We need the peacekeepers, we need the warriors, we need all of us. So I'm just here to encourage you all. If, if this, you have that poster. I do. I was going to make a comment on this before we wrapped up about the, uh, you know, they're coming after your kids. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A, January 5th, there is a protest in Albany. And um, our group, the Coalition, we have two buses. If you want information on that, we're leaving from Lancaster, New York, 5 a.m., uh, January 5th, and it's $20. So, but it, the seats are going fast. So if you want, you can email us at ccnys at usa.com. And thank you guys. Hey, hold on. Tell them about um, Bob Gemiolo. And so, okay, so there's a, a local restaurant owner in our area. His name is Bob Jamiolo. He owns a restaurant called The Kitchen. He started it in the middle of the pandemic, which is not really good business, but whatever. <laughs> um, and he also never closed, never did mandates. And what he did is after, you know, he started taking a stand, he was getting calls from the Department of Health. But we all supported him. All of the freedom groups in our area supported him. And so what he would do, is this what you're wanting me to say? He would have people stand at the doors, and if your name wasn't on a list, if you didn't have a reservation, you couldn't come in. So if you were the Department of Health, well, they have to identify them. <laughs> yes, you're not allowed to come in. That's great. And, and Marie Rock, and you all probably you heard Marie. She has been very instrumental in a lot of things, like for our church, because she's you know given us the documents to hang in our windows. Like you're not allowed in without a warrant. Come back with a warrant. Absolutely. You don't have a warrant. Get out. Get out right now. 
And so that's what Bob did. And he had he had people like my husband and other people where they came and they stood at the doors in the evenings. And if you were not on the list, you didn't get in. And he still. Well, what about the big Christmas day. party too? Right. That's when they just they just. Yeah, we just the had mass a, mandate. when they just imposed the mass mandate again when Mark Polenkarz did in Erie County. We said, well, we're having a big non-compliant Christmas party. We just did it oh, yeah. last Saturday. I think we had 200 and some people. Nice. And uh, he did get a letter from the Department of Health. Nobody showed up. They're not going to because they're going to end Mark up. Mark said he didn't even know if he had the ability to legally they're impose the fine up, yeah. because of Robbie's case. Yeah. They're yeah. going to end up on Fox News again if they That's mess awesome. with anybody that we know. So <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. She was... Um, the Constitutional Coalition in Erie County, and she's here with us tonight. She does amazing, amazing work, and she's got the podcast on Mondays as well. She is just a light. Thank you.